Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL F1 which is just classifying different kinds of triangles. So the only thing you really need to know about these uh, problems is what the difference is between an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle, and a scalene triangle. So the equilateral triangle of course is a triangle with all three sides being equal or congruent. The isosceles triangle is a triangle with just two sides uh, that are congruent or equal, which is why it says isosceles but not equilateral because equilateral has three, so technically it's also an isosceles. But isosceles, just think of it as only having two equal sides, and then the scaling having no sides that are equal. So if we read our question here, it says a triangle has side lengths of 15, 16, and 9 feet. Which kind is it? Well, none of these sides are equal, right? They're all different lengths. They're all different numbers. So it's going to be scaling. What kind of triangle is this? Uh, they all have different angles. Equilateral triangles have the, uh, just like how they have all three of the same sides, they also have all three of the same angles. Isosceles, um, they have two equal sides, so they're also going to have two equal angles. And scaling is not going to have the same of any. So we're going to do scaling again. Okay. And a, a triangle has angle measurements of 11, 82, and 87. What kind of triangle is it? A right triangle, as you should know, is a triangle with the right angle or a 90 degree angle, and then the other two angles don't really matter so much. An acute angle has uh, angles that are all beneath 90, and an obtuse is a triangle that has at least one angle uh, that is above 90. So if we look at all of our angles here, there are no 90 degree angles, so it's not a right angle, and everything is below 90, so we're going to say acute. So what kind of triangle is this? All three sides are three, and that makes it an equilateral triangle. What kind of triangle? We have 40, 50, and 90 has a 90 degree angle, a right angle, so it is gonna be a right triangle. Triangle has 41, 136, and three, what is it? We have the 136 degree angle there, that is definitely higher than 90, so that's gonna be an obtuse triangle. Triangle has angle, angle measurements 66, 66, and 48. Is it scaling? Well, no, because two of the angles are the same. Two of them are 66, so that would be an isosceles triangle, so not a scalene. 41, 90, and 49, that's going to be a right because of the 90 degrees. 43, 52, and 85, that's not going to be a right triangle. It's not going to be obtuse because there's nothing higher than 90. Everything is lower than 90, so it's going to be acute. Uh, one angle is above 90, so it's going to be obtuse. Uh, is this equilateral? No, because not all three of the angles are the same. Those two are 56 and this one is 68, so that's going to be an isosceles triangle. So no. Classify it by its sides, okay? So the tick marks just indicate um, that a triangle has a certain length without any numbers, without displaying any numbers. So for instance, if you saw that this side right here and this side right here both had one single tick mark, that means they're both going to be the same or congruent. They're going to be the same length. But since all three of these sides have different amount of tick marks, so this one has one, this one has two, and this one has three, that means all three of the sides are different, meaning this is a scalene triangle. Okay, this triangle has uh, two angles that are the same, just like with the tick marks in the last problem. When you go to angle measurements, you might have a certain number of rings. So this one has one ring, this one also has one ring, meaning they're going to be the same, meaning uh, it's going to be an isosceles triangle. Okay, one tick mark and one tick mark, meaning two of these are the same, so that's going to be an isosceles triangle. Uh, same thing, one angle or one uh, ring, one ring, that's isosceles. Uh, one ring, one ring, and one ring. All three have uh, one ring, meaning they're all equal, so that is an equilateral triangle. Uh, we have one ring, two rings, and a 90 degree angle here. So all three are different, meaning it's going to be a scalene. We have one ring, one ring, and two rings. So that's going to be an isosceles because of the two. 
Uh, we have one ring, two ring, and three rings, so scalene. And we are already at 91. So this is where I'm going to stop. Uh, you're not going to see anything really different here. I guess they'll give you um, uh, both the uh, type of triangle dictated by the angle values and then the type of triangle dictated by the side lengths. Um, so I guess I'll just do this one real quick. If you look at the angles, uh, you have one ring and then two rings and then three rings. Um, so you know it's going to be a scalene triangle. And what you can see here is this angle right here specifically is over 90 degrees. So not only is it a scalene triangle, it's going to be an obtuse triangle. So not acute because that would mean all of them are beneath 90 degrees. We do have uh, obtuse and a scalene. It's not quad uh, equilateral and it's not equilateral, so it's definitely going to be this one. Okay, that is where I'll stop the video. Uh, stay tuned next time for more iXtel tutorials. Take care, study hard, see you later, goodbye.